failing to monitor is one of the reasons that slows down the financial momentum. Know what you want. If it was a business that got challenged and you did not face that challenge and try to overcome that challenge, your financial momentum get derailed. It's good to learn the art of reinventing the wheel. If it doesn't work this way, it can work another way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. Uh, my name is Simon K. I'm bringing you the financial diet. Uh, we always say that uh, your financial well-being is our concern here on financial diet. And I'm very excited always to see you grow. And we said that financial diet and financial health is something that you do every day just like eating or uh, just like uh, your, your your physical well-being if you don't if you don't do some few things there are things that are not going to go right if you do some few things right uh, uh, they say we are 80 percent what we eat and uh, exercise is also key so it, whatever we eat we become so financially same things there are principles that you have to take care of the principles that you have to put in place for you to be financially astute. We say there are three levels of people. There are those that are financially astute, that is level number one, and those that are financially uh, financially ailing, the third level, and those that are in between. They are not ailing and they are not astute. And our desire is that those that are in between and number three, that they will all get financially astute, and them that are in number one, they will remain there. That's our desire here on the financial diet. We were able to, uh, the previous time we got, uh, we had a, a a guest, a, a, a friend called Elizabeth, and Elizabeth took us to, through uh, how we need to prepare our kids from a very early age and teach them financial disciplines. They say that teach, train up a child in the way it should grow, and when they grow old, they will not depart from that way. And <clears throat> we also said that sometimes uh, it's good to condition our minds and condition our kids and uh, about money and about how they need to respond to money and how they need to treat money. And uh, uh, just like just just like water, uh, it takes the form of the of, of of the glass that it's in, or the object that it's in. If it's a square, it will take a square. If it is a if it is a round object, it will take a, a round shape. So money becomes what we, we are. We 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 are the. Uh, we are the hosts of money, and money becomes like us. They say money is not evil. But the love of money is what makes it uh, evil sometimes. So it's good to make sure that we grow and get better. And uh, I would encourage you to go and also learn about the money, uh, mon money uh, it was called money ethics. Uh, I, I think so, yeah, I remember, yeah. It, it was about uh, how money forms, uh, 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 how, how we condition ourselves around money and we become, uh, we see our kids, uh, they become what they have learned from a very at, tender and early age in their lives. And we said, speak good things, uh, speak good disciplines to your kids. And when they grow old, you will see that them exhibiting those very good character traits ab about and around money. Today, I want to talk to you and uh, I talk to myself as well. I also learn uh, when I'm uh, preparing and when I'm, 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 I'm talking and when I'm interacting with you. And uh, today I want to talk about building financial momentum. I know last year uh, and last year but one, uh, uh, come 20, 2000, the year 2000, January, I remember the previous year we sat down and came up with strategies and we made sure that we have uh, our three-year plan, our two-year plan, our ten-year plan. The people who even look at where they want to be uh, in terms of being leaders in the markets that they play in or be, being leaders in, in the areas they are, their staff, the staff, staff members that want to be the best in their teams. And uh, January, uh, January, all January 2000, we all made resolutions and uh, we heard that there was something that was happening in, in China and uh, we thought that that's a small thing happening in China. It's not a big deal, it's a flu and the flu will come and go. And uh, uh, come, come March, I remember March, uh, President announced and said schools were closed. And from that time uh, till uh, uh, early 
uh, late last year, uh, 2021, uh, around October, I think, uh, things were tight. We had lockdowns, we had even zonings, we had businesses shut down, we had people uh, people getting out of businesses and people, uh, people, people had to go back to their drawing board again. And they moved from ambition and uh, projected growth and, uh, and, and, they, and they had to get into the mode of survival. And uh, I am here to, uh, I know I have talked about not giving up. I know I've talked about uh, rising up again. I know I've talked about how to stay, uh, to stay focused. I've talked about disciplines in life. I've talked about giving. Uh, we've talked about budgeting. Uh, we've also talked about how in marriages, people uh, put uh, disciplines that are put in, in marriages. But then again, uh, we, I don't think and I don't remember in, this, in the recent times that we've had an instance that we've had a moment the people had to deal with uh, uh, with very uh, very low cash uh, cash flows, or limited, or if you're lucky, limited cash flows. People had to do with uh, limited business uh, because other industries were shut. People lost jobs. I've, I've not seen. I don't remember apart from the financial crunch, and somehow that didn't affect Kenya so much. Uh, but this time around, this really hit us and hit us big and here we are and we're asking ourselves how do we build up ourselves again i know you've come up with strategies uh, i will not talk about strategies it's important to have a strategy of how you will make money the people who uh, have talked about scams the people who wake up in the morning and they say i'm going to make money out of people's pocket and i will make it in a not very legit way I'm not talking about those ones. I know we've come up with uh, businesses and we've looked at, uh, we've mapped out who our competition, our target market is, who our, uh, our niche is, where is it that we're going to run and, and where, where is it that we're going to make the most monies. In our past personal lives, we have come up with objectives. Where do I want to be end of 2022? Where do I want to be three years from now? Where do I want to be five years from now? We've mapped up all those things. And I am here to, uh, as I said, today we are talking about building financial momentum. I am here to talk about how do you build financial momentums? How do you make sure that you remain fluid, you remain consistent? Uh, and, 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 and I think I'll start with talking about what you should not do or some of the things that you do or you will do that will slow down your financial momentum. And one of it is lack of financial discipline. I know for sure uh, this, uh, I remember a prophet who stand, uh, stood and, and told us that this is going to be a very tough year and we need to remain financially disciplined. Uh, we need to reduce our borrowings. We need to reduce our, uh, uh, for, for them that talk about kuchafua, uh, making sure that the table is full of drinks and uh, they don't leave for tomorrow, they leave for now. It's very, very important to ensure that even as you build your financial capital, even as you build your financial investment, your financial empire, remain, remain disciplined. Number two, do not forget what is it, what is your ultimate, what is your bull's eye, what is your target. Remain, remaining untrue to your vision. If you remain untrue to your vision, you forget about your vision and you say, I will capture it some other time, you will definitely uh, miss out on your financial momentum. And then sometimes when you have challenges, number three, when you have challenges, people quit and people give up. Um, I, I remember someone said, it's good to learn the art of reinventing the wheel. If it doesn't work this way, it can work another way. It's good to sit down and think about how can it work differently. If something is not working, it's good to sit down and say A is not working. Can we think about B and see how B will work? If B doesn't work, look, about, uh, look at C and C will work. So some people, when they find challenges, they give up. 
they give up on that dream they give up on that vision they give up on that idea and they say i i do not want to uh, I, I do not want to continue with this idea but remember you had invested money on that idea you had invested time and we said time is money on that idea and when you invest time and money on that idea and you give up on that idea because you found challenges your way what normally happens is that you will lose time and you will never some, uh, get that time again and number two you will lose your resources that you had invested if it was a business that got challenged and you did not face that challenge and try to overcome that challenge or reinvent your will reinvent the will you've come up a challenge and you've given up your financial momentum get derailed and then number four some of the reasons why some people are, are slow some of the issues that slow down building a financial momentum a financial capital is having very few income streams uh, i remember uh, uh, one one guest called willie uh, was telling us about how to get side hustles you are employed and you will not be employed forever and we've seen um, even in the dispensation i've talked about the covid dispensation we've seen people losing jobs we've seen people operating on half salary others that have been lucky it's 75 percent uh, some people have been uh, told to work from home and others have, have, have experienced salary delays. And if you did not have any other income to supplement this particular income, and I'm not saying that uh, it's, 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 uh, it's good not to focus on your main job. You focus on your main job, but there is extra time that you have. And I, I believe uh, Willie did a fantastic job to explain to us, even giving examples of some of the ideas. So when something happens and it derails, uh, like for example, the salary cut happens, you, you, you lose out on the incomes and uh, the financial momentum that you had. You have to slow down. You have to go back into your financial buffer or what some peop many people call the emergency fund and you have to eat up monies from the emergency fund and that eats up on your safety and security and your insurance for that time of an emergency and then uh number five one other thing that slows down your financial momentum is um wastage i was i've talked about uh, coming up with an idea knowing that that idea is um, not an idea that you're going to see to the end you want to someone started a business you want to start a business and see whether it can work and that sometimes you might be lucky and but most of the time some of these businesses fail all trying to prove to your peers that you're rich and living a life that uh, you cannot afford and uh, <clears throat> some of irresponsible behaviors that people engage into that will lead into wastage you find that every month every month a chunk 20 percent of your money is wasted goes away you can't account to 30 percent or 40 percent of monies that you had where that money goes to uh you, you, you're this person that uh Will, will definitely go for a trip that you had not planned for. You will drink yourself happy. Uh, you will uh, make sure that you invest in ideas that you've not researched very well on. That slows down your financial momentum. And number six, sometimes relying on your own strength and not allowing God to be your center, the center of your financial journey most often than not there are some things that are beyond us and there are some things that god is the only one that can see you through on those things and it's always important to make sure that you involve god because god will keep you away from instances and circumstances that you don't have control over and when you involve god you will make uh, god will ensure that he surrounds you 
you know, give where you're supposed to give. Sometimes people don't give. God will ensure that he gives a hedge around you and you will not lose money that you would have otherwise saved if you involved God. And then also, failing to monitor, number seven, failing to monitor the progress, your financial progress. They say that if you don't know where you're going, you will not know where, when you get there. If you don't have a target, and if you don't have uh, a, a focus, or you don't have a bullseye, this is what I am aiming at, you will not know whether you're, you're doing well or you're not doing well. Like for example, if you do not have a budget, and uh, you take your money and spend your money anyhow, so you will not know whether you're saving, or not saving, you don't monitor all the monies as, as far as you, when you get money, you use all the monies that you have. If you don't monitor, it slows down your progress. And sometimes some people will tell you, sometimes some people will tell you, live your life, don't worry about, uh, <laughs> I've quoted this uh, singers who say that if your money is too little, to solve your problems, eat that money. Uh, there are people who have that school of thought, but I doubt that's not a very good school of thought. Monitor, failing to monitor is one of the reasons that slows down your financial momentum. And I'm talking about how do you build your financial momentum? And I was giving you, um, I, I was giving you seven things that you don't do or you should not do for you to build a momentum on your finances. So what do you do to build your financial momentum? Number one, remain consistent. If it is saving, don't save and stop. Save all the time. If you're budgeting, don't save sometimes and sometimes don't uh, uh, budget sometimes and sometimes don't budget. Budget all the times. Make sure that you are consistent on the disciplines that you have. I said we are what we eat physically and financially we are the disciplines that we put in place financially. If you are definitely wasting money and all the times 20% of your incomes you have no idea where that money goes, I can assure you there's going to be a time you will not be as strong as you are right now. There's going to be a time you're going to fail to get these uh, monies and you will be looking for money because there are times and seasons. There are high seasons and there are low seasons. So if you save, like for example, if you have your financial buffer and we say the financial buffer is uh, six times your current expenses. You have your six times your current expenses somewhere saved and uh, someone else said $1,000. Uh, can be a good financial buffer or emergency fund. Build it up and consistently make sure that it has money. Be consistent in the financial discipline, uh, disciplines. And number two, another thing that you need to do to ensure that you build your financial momentum is know what you want. I want to build a house. What do I do to build a house? I want to buy a car. What monies do I need to buy this car? I will be spending 1,000 shillings or 10,000 shillings every weekend for a party or making sure that I build up a friendships and, 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 and being happy. I'm a, what some people call kwambia mwili pole. Make sure that if, you, if, if that is what you're doing, like for example, 10,000 every, every weekend, if that's what you're doing and you're telling your body pole, what is it that you're telling the body pole for? Has it worked so well for it to deserve Kwambua Pole? Know exactly what you want. And when you clear and you're putting it down and, 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 and you have objectives written down and you're very clear about those objectives, you will save money towards these particular things. You have a financial buffer. So when an emergency comes, you will not eat into your money project like for example i was saving towards a car and an emergency has come so i have to make sure that i eat up this money from my car 
and, 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 and then uh, uh, instead of having an emergency fund, know and be very clear of what you want in life and why you do things the way you do. There is no one perfect way of living financially. We are all savings and doing things and, 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 and working and having businesses. And we all have different financial objectives and vi different financial visions. And we're working around those visions. And it's good to know clearly what is, what is it that you want. Number three, I, I talked about uh, 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 having uh, diversified sources of income and having side hustles. I will not talk so much about that. Make sure that you have more than one sources of income. Someone said most of the successful guys financially, they have at least seven sources of incomes. So get several sources of incomes and uh, that will be a good thing. And number four, if you're investing, invest in yourself and research into ways and means and get information that will help you grow as a person financially financial disciplines that will ensure that you are solid financially and that will help you build momentum and number five <clears throat> when you encounter challenges don't stop <coughs> sorry when you encounter challenges don't stop keep moving number six don't settle for less be inspired dream big whatever it is that you aspire to get, the sky is the limit. You can get whatever it is that you want to get. That is number six. Don't settle for less. Pursue your dreams. Pursue your visions. Make sure that you dream and dream big. Hang around people that dream big and talk big. And that will inspire you to grow financially. It will inspire you not to stop it will inspire you to overcome challenges when you hear about how someone lost everything and they build it up again all of it back and they made they're doing billions and millions of dollars when you get hung around those people it will inspire you to be a better person so don't settle for less and the last one sometimes we get challenges in life and these challenges will make you feel <clears throat> like you are not meant to achieve or account to much. Sometimes you have a lot of fatigue based on your employment or the business that you have and it drains you and it bogs you down and sometimes it's important to take a break. It's important if you're working in a toxic environment, take a break. If your business it has so many challenges, don't stop. I did not say stop. I said take a break. Sit back, relax, rejuvenate, take times off breaks. I know of people, business people that don't take breaks. They are working throughout. And after some time, because we are not machines, even machines tear, have something that we call wear and tear. And machines need to be serviced. How much more a human being, a person, a person that is, uh, that, that is having flesh and blood, take breaks. Whatever it is that you do, get time to rest. God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful time. And build your financial capital. God bless you.